Guys, we're going to do Q&A number two right now. I've got four questions from the Q&A video number one I did a couple months ago. Sorry, it's been a while. So we're going to do strength training questions. So, all right. So Gordon Ramsey asked me, hi, Juji, this is a broad question, but what do you do for core strength in order to perform those various barbell strength movements? So I think he's referring to some strange feats of strength I might do and um, just basic lifts. Gordon, um, for the core strength, it comes from two places. One, I don't use a belt that much. The only times I use a weightlifting belt are when I'm maxing out on back squats. Whoa. Okay, that's enough. I need sardines. I need sardines. Sardines! Sardines! Or if I'm doing like bent over rows. I don't wear a belt when I deadlift because I never learned how. It throws my weight forward if I try to use it. I could deadlift more if I wore a belt, but I just, I think a lot of people appreciate raw lifting. And so I just don't care to wear belts right now with deadlifting or learn how anytime soon. So basically not wearing a belt for just about every sort of strength movement I do. And I go very heavy in weight. And the other place where I get my core strength from is tricking. So tricking involves a hell of a lot of twisting, turning, jumping. I just did a video where I did 100 backflips recently that was uh, just a few days ago and my abdominals have not been that sore since I can remember it's probably a few years so that's where the core strength comes from um, primarily not using a belt and tricking Luca Zembelli asked me you're amazing man have you ever tried a strongman training and if not would you like to try of course I love strongman I have a log now um, I hung out with some strong men at the last fitness expo I went to. I do plan to do some more strong man type training. I especially like grip strength. Apparently I have world class grip strength because I was competing in a grip competition there um, at that expo as well and did very well. So I, I love strong man training. I think that's great. And Gordon, um, try some strong man training because I feel like that really hits the core really well and helps with feats of strength because that's basically picking up awkward shit and moving them out around in awkward ways. That's basically the recipe for building your core and hurting yourself to a certain degree, so be careful. <laughs> All right, Martin Helberg asked me, let's see, I read on your website that you have genetic problems building chest and biceps, even if they are huge, thank you. And you're training them three times as much as other muscle groups. I have the same problem on the same body parts, while my back is huge as hell. Do you have any recommendation? I try to hit chest and biceps as much as I can, but it doesn't seem to work. Okay, so for me, to grow my chest and biceps to where they are now, and they used to be a lot smaller, um, the thing I did was I didn't change my supplements, I didn't change my diet, I didn't change my frequency of training. I do have to train those muscle groups more frequently to make them grow, I had to. The thing that worked for me, and it was the only thing I changed over the course of a couple months there where I really started to see some improvement in those muscle groups was changing the exercise selection. So for the chest, bench press does not grow my chest. I don't care where the grip is. I don't care if I'm using bands, chains. It does not work. Um, but the hammer strength lever machine with a narrow grip surprisingly does hit my chest pretty good. Um, dumbbell bench press is a little better for hitting my chest, but not as good as a tactical exercise like a hex press. Um, flies on a cable stack or ring flies those were not growing my chest, but using a chest fly machine and really allowing it to stretch me back very far and using that was hitting my chest. These exercises were really isolating my chest. It's hard, it was, it's hard for me to isolate my chest for some reason. I don't know if it's the arm length. 
Um, I don't know the science of the levers behind the reasoning behind it. And if you look at my dad and all the people on his side of the family and my mom and all the people on all my uncles on her side of the family, all of them have no chest muscle. They're all like huge cores and spindly arms and chest. I did not win the genetic lottery for those muscle groups, but isolating the hell out of them and choosing my exercises on an exercise by exercise basis, I was able to come up with a group of exercises, which I just named a bunch of them, that really hit my chest in a way where I started to see stretch marks appear. I started to get pumps I never got before, and I started to notice a trend over the course of a couple months where my chest was growing. And for the arms, similarly, I had to find ways to isolate them. For the tricep, standard attachments weren't working, so I had to do tricks like double rope attachment, swivel attachments, bands for the biceps. Um, I like laying on the ground and doing, I like cables for biceps more than free weights. If I'm doing free weights, I like to band them. So to grow these muscle groups that were my weaknesses, I had to really be tactical in my exercise selection and hit them very frequently. And it's easy to judge whether an exercise is working or not. Pretty, pretty easy because if it's working, the pump will be fucking insane. And if it's not working, you just will have a hard time feeling that muscle group. So that's what I recommend you do for your um, biceps and chest is get away from compound movements and start figuring out what exercises work for your body and invent your own. You just have to hit those muscle groups right. You'll know it when you do it. All right, so knee and cat ruler asks me, do you have any tips for people who want to start getting stronger and working out? So this is a very basic question. I mean, broad, basic. Um, start getting stronger and working out. So I do have two recommendations, okay? One of them is to, to start one of the things a lot of people don't think about when they're starting training or starting anything new or trying to start getting themselves to do things they've never done before is you have to ask yourself, and I love Timothy Ferris for phrasing it this way, what would this look like if it was easy? That question, in my opinion, gets you to start thinking about how do I make this easy? How do I make this convenient? How do I just make this almost automatic? So, um, <laughs> for example, uh, just a few days ago, I posted a video of stupid supersets where I was doing um, squats supersetted with cleaning my house on a Sunday. And I really did that. I was doing it and then I was just like, hey, Sam, Sam's my wife, uh, just just film some of this. <laughs> just, just film this because this is really happening right now and I think it's pretty funny. It's convenient. I made it convenient for myself. I have a squat rack in my dining room over there. If you guys want a tour of that, let me know in the comments section. I might consider doing a video for that. I can show you what exercise equipment I have and why I chose what I chose. But it's 10 steps away from a toilet in the bathroom. It is like 15 steps away from the sink in the kitchen. It is like seven steps or I can jump in two jumps over to that rack right now. It is literally right there. It is easy. There's no excuse for me not to just walk by and be like, hey, oh, fuck, I'll just do some squats or whatever I have set up over there for later, for now, for whenever. So this is a little extreme example. and I mean, this is an apartment. It's a first story apartment. Um, but you can have a barbell sitting in wherever you're living where it's just right there next to you. At all times, you can just get up and do some movements. That's starting you to get working out. That starts to build a habit of moving your body, of increasing your breath rate, of starting to get that exercise feel. On the same topic of convenience, I really recommend anyone who's not going for any of the sort of home training route to, and I don't only train at home, I train at a lot of different places. I travel a lot and I have a couple gym memberships. Get a gym membership that is very close to where you are. So don't get a fucking gym membership that's 35 or 45 minutes away unless it's a world gym, a world-class gym. I mean, if I'm away, if I'm 35 or 45 minutes away from Elite FTS gym or Super Training gym, I might consider driving that far to go to the gym. But if you're just getting a normal gym membership, make sure you're picking something that's about five to 10 minutes tops from wherever you are. You have to find a gym close to you. 
all the gyms I've had that were close to me, I trained more, I got better results over those years. Every time I had a gym that was further away, I look back at those times and my life was shittier. And I found more excuses not to go to the gym. Um, I have a gym that's five minutes away from my workplace on my lunch hour now. So always find uh, the best gym you can that's as close to you as you can. All right, and so the other thing I have to say for this question, which let me remind you what it is, guys. Do you have any tips for people who want to start getting stronger working out? Make it convenient, make sure it's accessible, and make sure that you make a goal, make this your goal, make, make this your goal, okay? Just seriously, just make this your goal. Don't set arbitrary weight goals when you start out, like I want to deadlift this much and squat this much and be this percentage of body fat and look like this in the mirror and be able to do these tricks. Nah, like, fuck that shit, all right? What you want to do is you want to make it a goal to where it's like, I want to make this more fun. I have to figure out a way. That's your goal is I want this to be more fun two weeks from now than it is right now. How can you do that? What would that look like? That might be getting the gym membership you really want. That might be getting some exercise equipment or accessories that make it a little more fun. That might be making it a little easier. That might be getting some better earbuds for when you work out. So it's just fun. It's just more fun. Figure out how to make it more fun and you're gonna get better results, all right? And then you can start focusing on things like you know, just go in and try shit. Just go in and have some fun and then you're gonna start gravitating toward the things that really matter to you. That's what I did. When I started working out, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just went in there and I was just like trying stuff, playing with machines. It was like daycare for me. I was waiting for my parents to pick me up after school. But that's why I got a gym membership when I was like 14 or 15, I was 15. I couldn't drive, I'm in the United States. They got me a gym membership when I was 15 before I turned 16 when I could drive so that I could wait at the gym across the street after school for them to pick me up. And I would just do whatever I wanted. I didn't, I don't even really, I just remember doing every machine in the gym and just making stuff up. And then I actually got pretty good results that way. I started to get pretty lean. I looked pretty good. I mean, and then I just gravitated towards deadlifts, squats, all that other hardcore stuff and this, the rest is, right here you know this is history so those are my recommendations guys thank you for listening to this q a thank you for asking me questions this is a training q a um ask me some more questions below maybe next time we can do some more personal questions if you're interested in my personal life or um diet questions if you're interested in that any sort of stretching or flexibility question hold off on those because my ebook is very 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 close and very excited it's done it's just being designed right now by a graphic designer everything else is in place so Stay tuned, follow me, and that's it. All right, guys, thank you.